Hey guys, welcome back, it's Crystal. So today I have my weekly loves and letdowns for you. And I have a giveaway at the end of this video, so do stay tuned for that because I have some skincare products to give away to three subscribers. So I think I wanna start with lip products. Um, these are ones that I showed in my Sephora VIB sale haul video. That was a little bit pre-recorded or pre-filmed prior to posting it. I usually don't get my videos up within the same day or sometimes even the same week that I film them. So just keep that in mind. I've been using these products for a while even though the video just went up, I don't know, it just seemed like a few days ago maybe, a week ago. So um, first is this new Marc Jacobs lipstick. This is part of the new Nudes collection. This one is called Role Play. I love the packaging, it's just fancy. And yeah, this one's called Role Play. I'm wearing it today, I love this color. It is beautiful. I like the formula of these. These are the sheer lip gels. And they're just really creamy. Mm, just amazing formula. So that is the shade right there. Isn't that such a pretty everyday color? Like I could totally rock this lip every single day. I love it. And I've been pairing it with this NYX lip liner. This is the Peekaboo Neutral Lip Liner. And these pair really, really well together, you guys. Really well. So I'm wearing both of these lip products today, but this is like the lip combo that I've been going for all week long for the most part. The other lip product I've worn is this Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick. And this one's in Patina. And this is also one of the lip products I showed in my Sephora VIB haul. This is my first time trying a liquid lipstick. And honestly, I can say I think this is one of the like my most favorite liquid lipsticks that I've tried so far. I really love this color too. So that's it right there. And these smell so good. Oh, like vanilla cupcakes or something. I don't know. It smells really good. I wonder if these smell. No, I don't really think that one has a smell to it. So yeah, those are like my go-to lips all week long. I love them. Next is a blush that I did talk about in my Sephora VIB haul. I am actually wearing it today. And I actually did a like get ready with me for this look that I have on today. So if you guys are interested, I will eventually post that at some point in time. This is the Urban Decay Afterglow 8 Hour Powder Blush and Fetish. And I really love the packaging of these. So in my haul, I showed two of them, but I did go back to Ulta and pick up another one. Um, so this one's fetish and I did recommend this in my in my video that I really or I said I really liked it and so one of my subscribers said she ordered it because of me and she ended up returning it because her cheeks pretty much ate the blush so if you're of a darker complexion than I am then this blush might not be good for you this particular color and fetish and if you're really oily the formula of these blushes might not be long lasting on you. I don't have oily skin at right now at all. So um, these work out just fine for me, but I think if you're really oily, then your skin will eat these up. <laughs> your skin, your um, oil will kind of just soak it up, but um, it's just a beautiful everyday color for me. And it's kind of like a pinky nude maybe. There it is right there. And I like these because they're not super pigmented on initial application. You build them up and I like that about them because sometimes I can get carried away with blush and I just put too much on at once. But with these, I feel like I can build it up to my liking so that I don't apply too much. So I feel like they give more of a natural look to the skin, which I like. So I've been really enjoying this one in fetish. Like I said, it's kind of an everyday color for me. So it seems like I'm kind of going for a color scheme here, doesn't it? Yeah, okay. A, another blush that I've been using, which is kind of similar in color, is the Sephora Color Play Blush in Shame On You. These are new to the Sephora line. I showed them in my haul video, and a lot of you did say that you want me to do a swatch video of these, so I will do that. I'm just kind of testing out a few of them. This color is really pretty, super soft too, and pigmented, so. Yeah, this one's really, really pretty. And you can actually pop these out. There's a little groove right there where you can pop them out and you can put them in a palette. So 
that's nice as well. So this one's a little bit more of a peachy pink, but I wore that one a couple times and I really love that one as well. Very pigmented, very soft and blendable. So that is another favorite of mine. I forgot to mention this liquid stay all day, this liquid lipstick, it stays on really good. Um, even with eating and stuff, and I didn't feel like it was over drying on my lips, which is why I really liked it. Next are eyeshadows. I used my Makeup Geek eyeshadows pretty much all week, in addition to my Kat Von D Shade and Light palette, so let me just go over some of the Makeup Geek ones that I used. Um, today I have on Grandstand and, what is this one called? Magic Act, but I was using, Let's see, I used Whimsical, which is this beautiful color. I'll show it to you in a minute. I used Daydreamer, which is this beautiful purple. And I used this one a lot, Charmed. So let me show you. So Whimsical, Daydreamer, and this one right here called Charmed. So let me give you a swatch of all of these. So they're super pigmented. Aren't they just such beautiful, like, pastel shades? Like, look at those. So I use those three quite a bit. And then today I decided to play with a couple other ones. So I also really liked this new formulated one called Wisteria. I used that one a couple times with these two because I combined these two together in a look with this color in Wisteria. It was reformulated and it's just a beautiful matte purple. So that's Wisteria right there. So those are pretty much my favorite shadows of the week. Oh, and one other one is this one here called White Lies. And it's funny because I did a Makeup Geek haul recently and I hauled that one and I already owned it. I forgot I owned it already, so I have two, but that's okay. I've been using it for my brow bone highlight, and I know it's a pretty stark white, but I'm very light complected, so for me, I can get away with doing that, but if you're like darker, then I probably wouldn't do it, but that is the white lies right there. I also use my Kat Von D Shade and Light palette, this one right here. I actually use this one today for the look that I have on, and I used it quite a few other times. Um, I've mainly used this shade. Today I have on this one that's more cool toned, and then I use these warm browns, these two whites, these browns, and then this black here. I just use the black like to put on the lash line as eyeliner. So I've been enjoying that palette. So a new favorite bronzer of mine, it's very pricey, but it's just, to me it's well worth the price. I love this so much, and I didn't think that I was gonna love it as much as I do. It is the Giorgio Armani Maestro Liquid Summer, and it has an SPF of 15. This is a liquid bronzer. It's pretty pricey. I got mine at Nordstrom, but I showed it in my haul video. You can also buy it from Sephora, but at the time of the sale, it was out of stock. So I got mine from Nordstrom. And it's just a liquid bronzer right there. And I love it because it looks so natural, blends into the skin so nice, and it just, it just looks more natural than like a cream bronzer or a powder bronzer. So, I like this more than a cream, actually. It is a liquid, straight liquid. And I feel like a little goes a long way, blends out beautifully. I have that on, I used it in the tutorial today, and I'm just like obsessed with it. I heard they're gonna have more shades later, like three total, but at the moment I think they only have the one shade, so. The product I pulled out and have been using is the Kat Von D Shade and Light Face Palette. So, I've had this for a while and I hadn't really used it too much, so I was like, I need to pull this out. So I've been mainly using this shade right here and this, no, this shade right here. Most people use the more yellow shade to highlight, but I actually like this one better for my skin tone. So those are pretty much the main shades that I've been using and they are swatched right there. So I did the, use that as well today for the tutorial. I just kind of wanted to use products on my face today that I have been loving and new products as well. I switched out my battery and now I want to talk about four makeup brushes and then we can move on to the giveaway. So this is the Equal Tools Stippling Brush. This brush 
is amazing. I love this brush so much that I went out to Ulta and I picked up two more <laughs> because I figured I could use this one for bronzer and use another one for blush and then just have a backup because like if I need it. The only reason I got two more is because they were buy one get one half off. So I figured why not? I think these are like eight bucks or something like that. So they're super affordable. It's extremely soft. I've been using it for bronzer and just a bronze all over and it just, it's so soft on the face and it just really diffuses the bronzer, doesn't apply too much. So I've been loving it for bronzer, but I really wanna try it for blush as well. So that's why I got another one. So highly recommend that stippling brush. It's amazing. Next are two brushes that I talked about before, but I thought I would mention them again because I kind of pulled them out. Um, these are the Sephora, let's see, Pro Crease Brush and Pro Tapered Crease Brush. So this is the Pro Crease Brush here. It's nice and fluffy. This is the Pro Tapered Crease Brush. I've mentioned these before in a favorites video, but you guys, these are so awesome. I really want to purchase another set of these. I really need one more like this, which is just the tapered crease brush. No, this is the pro crease brush. Sorry, because it's very fluffy and this is just like perfect for putting color into the crease. It just buffs it out and blends it effortlessly. I just, I need another one of these. They're kind of pricey, but well worth the price in my opinion. So I really want to buy another one. I've been wanting to get the Sigma E40 because it's kind of similar to this where it's really fluffy and a lot of people use it for the crease. I've never owned it before, but Sigma brushes are kind of pricey, so I'm like, I might as well just spend a little more money, get the Sephora one because I know I love that, you know? Lastly is this Morphe brush. I think it's part of the Flawless Collection maybe. It's called, or it's numbered M514. And I hauled a bunch of the new brushes from the new collection. And I do want to do a separate review on them. So this one's kind of like a love and hate brush. Um, I love the shape of it and I love using it for applying a deeper color on the outer corner of the eye. It's just like the perfect shape and size. The only problem I have with it is it's very, very pokey, very pokey. So I just have to be really light handed with it so it doesn't like poke on my eyes. But I love the shape and I love the size and I love what it does. I just don't like how it feels on my eyeball. So that would be my only downfall with it. So another product I've been loving is this nail polish by Spoiled. It's actually by Wet n Wild. You can find these at CVS. I think they're usually like $1.99. So I picked out a couple that I showed in a drugstore haul of the video recently. So I decided to paint my nails with it. And it's just this beautiful mint color. And it actually had a nice formula. I think it was a little bit sheer on the first application, but I put two coats on and then it was perfect. I posted a picture of me wearing this on Instagram. So if you want to check that out, just check out my Instagram. It is crystalline makeup. And this color is called Mar, Marzipana, Marzipana. I'm not sure, but it's beautiful. And the brush is one of the wider type brushes, which I personally prefer because I just feel like I can get a better application on my nails and it's faster so I've loved that oh another favorite I almost forgot to mention this is the Kevin Aquan celestial powder in candlelight love the little sleek packaging this is what I'm wearing on my cheeks today I love it's just a really beautiful subtle highlight it's not frosty or glittery. It's just really glowy. Do you see it right there? So pretty. So, so, so pretty. I love it. So product fails. I did return some stuff to Sephora. I returned uh, the Makeup Forever Sculpting Pro Sculpting Duo. I did not love that. Um... It was just very orangey, the bronzer was. I returned my Shimmering Skin Perfector by Becca, the poured version. It looks so pretty, like, swatched on my hand, but it just didn't go over my foundation really well. It just made it very patchy, so I returned that. I returned my Laura Mercier Moisturizing Cream Silk Foundation, the moisturizing version, which is new. Today I'm actually wearing the oil-free version, which I did a review on. I'm wearing that today. But I returned the moisturizing one because the color selections on those, even though the color... The color names are the same. They're just not the same. 
Like the names are the same, but the actual color is not the same in the oil-free version and the moisturizing version. So I had a harder time picking a color in the moisturizing version. So I said, forget it, I'm taking it back. So I returned that. All right guys, so now it's time for the giveaway. So I have three skincare products that I will be giving away thanks to ZenMed, which is a skincare company that was, that has been more than generous towards me over the last year. They had sent me like a couple products last year that I tested out, reviewed, I love them. So because of that, they sent me a bunch more products that I wanted to try and I didn't have to do a review or anything like that. And I still have a lot of them and I love their products. They're just, they're formulated with like out a lot of chemicals and dyes and stuff like that, which I love about them. So thank you to ZenMed for being more than generous towards me and also for doing this giveaway or allowing me to do this giveaway for my subscribers. I truly, truly appreciate it. I, and I really appreciate your generosity like so, so much. So thank you, thank you, thank you. But I'm really excited for you guys because three winners will win one of these products each. So I personally picked out these three products because they are some of my favorite from all the products that I have from ZenMed. First is this, which I mentioned in my April favorites, and if you watch that video, you will see that I'm almost out of this and I will be so sad because I love this product so much. So this is a Renewing Microdermabrasion Complex, and it says, Dull Flaky Skin Feels Immediately Rejuvenated and Smooth visibly improves skin tone and small imperfections. It's made in the USA, it's four fluid ounces, it will last you quite some time. This is non-comedogenic, 100% vegetarian ingredients, no artificial colors or fragrances, not tested on animals, and a paraben-free formulation. So, this stuff will change your skin, trust me. My skin feels so much smoother in texture when I use that. The next product that I love is this right here. This is the Recovery Moisturizer, the Omega Ceramide Plus. I hope I'm saying that correctly. This cream smells incredible. I love the way it smells. It smells like honeysuckle. Like that's the only way that I could describe it. So this says, Recovery Moisturizer provides a powerful dosage of collagen enhancing omega-3 fatty acids and hyaluronic acid helping minimize the appearance of aging skin signs like fine lines, dullness, and sagging. It says, neutral pH works with a skin perfecting serums and allows for rapid post-procedural uh, healing. So you don't have to use this after a procedure, but this is good either way. But it smells amazing, it feels amazing on the skin. I love this moisturizer. So yes, somebody will win that. And lastly, I picked this, which is the B5 Hyaluronic Plumping Serum. And this is a 24 hour visible skin tightening and plumping effect. It hydrates and heals. It's made in the USA. It's non-comedogenic, 100% vegetarian ingredients, no artificial dyes, not tested on animals, and paraben-free formulation. So, this is also amazing. Like it says, it really does tighten and plump the skin, which is why I loved it. Um, I almost, like I think when I reviewed this, I said it kind of feels like a mini facelift almost, just because it does make your skin feel like tight as soon as you put it on. So I really, really like this stuff as well. These are three of my favorite products, like I said, from all the products they sent me, and I highly recommend ZenMed. So I will put a link to ZenMed down below. Again, thank you to ZenMed for allowing me to do this giveaway. And I'm really excited for you guys to win these products. So I'm not gonna mention all the rules in the video just because this video is probably gonna be too long as it is, but I will list all the rules to the giveaway down below in the description box. So um, make sure you check them, make sure you follow all the rules. And that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching and good luck. Bye.